why high deductible G is my favorite Medicare supplement plan. Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So in last week's video, I tuck you down the two paths of Medicare, traditional Medicare and Medicare Advantage. And generally speaking, for most folks, I come out as liking traditional Medicare more than Medicare Advantage. Now, let's say you agree with that in your own life and you want to do uh, traditional Medicare. Well, that begs up a very important question. Which supplement plan to go on, right? Do I do a, a G plan, the most popular supplement plan, which depends on the state, right? These things you know, vary, but the monthly premium for a G uh, supplement could be 140, 150 bucks a month. That's a pretty hefty price. Or do I do an N plan, right? And that can have 100, 120 buck monthly premium, right? Those are the two most popular to my knowledge. Well, allow me to suggest a third alternative, my favorite alternative, which is a high deductible G plan. What the heck is that, right? So the high deductible G plan is basically a G plan with a high deductible. Well, what's that deductible? That sounds scary. It's high. That's very scary. Well, guess what? The deductible on the high deductible G plan is in the year 2023, $2,700. Well, let's think about that for a second. Why the heck do we have medical insurance to begin with? Well, we have it to avoid financial ruin, right? We're going to get get to go to doctors, whether we're on a G supplement plan, an N supplement plan, a high deductible G plan, right? It has nothing to do with which doctor we go to if we're down to, say, choosing among those three supplement plans. But what it has to do with is the trade-off between lower premiums versus a higher exposure to uh, you know higher medical expenses right what if we are in this terrible car accident and we have these you know three surgeries to reconstruct our legs or something i'm you know you know parade of horribles but let's just play it out right um, the high deductible g that $2700 applies to what the supplement plan covers and recall that the supplement plan covers 20% of those expenses that are otherwise covered by Part B. So your doctors, your outpatient ser services, your you know surgical services, these sorts of things, right? Where, yeah, we could have a big bill, but we're only on the hook for 20% of it, and we're also on the hook for 20% of it at the Medicare negotiated rates. So let's start with a basic example. Say we have a, a doctor's visit and it's $500, right? And by the way, many doctors visits at the Medicare negotiated rate are not going to be as got not going to be $500 even in the year 2023. But let's just say it was. Okay. Well, if we have a uh just regular G plan, you know, the $400 is covered by Part B, 120% is covered by Part G, and there's a very small deductible there, but okay, fine. Most of the time, that's probably just we're going to met that deductible, so we we pay zero. Okay, what if we have a high deductible G? Well, yeah, the four hundred dollars, eighty percent is just Part B covered. Fine, same same result, G or high deductible G. And then yes, the hundred dollars um, that is covered by the supplement is subject to that twenty seven hundred dollar deductible. But we got to remember. It's 20% that we're exposed to of Medicare negotiated rates. And the thing is, the premiums, the savings, the costs we know we're going to have, right? Because when we're 65 or older, there are going to be some years we barely use medical coverage, and there are going to be some years we use high medical coverage, right? So in those years where we only have three or four medical appointments, and we only have 20% of, say, $300, $400, $500, and that's it, well, okay, you know, sure, we paid that out of pocket, but we save so much money every month on the premiums, right? The premiums on a high deductible G versus a regular G could be a third of the premiums. So we might be saving 100 bucks a month just in premiums, and yeah, we go to the doctor three times and we pay back 100 of that at a time. We're still coming out ahead, right? I mean, high deductible G gets us access to doctors all across the country, and it helps us avoid financial calamity. Yes, if we just have this terrible accident, we're going to pay the $2,700. But that's it. That's pretty good, right? Versus a G plan where, yeah, in those years where we have hardly any use, we might be still cutting $1,800 a year in premiums to the insurance company. And we had hardly any use, right? So 
I think for many Americans, when we're thinking about all right, a traditional Medicare, we get all spooked out by G premiums that could be 150 bucks a month. Well, so oh, we should do Medicare Advantage. Well, now we've limited our provider list. Why don't we go for sort of, I view high deductible G as sort of the best of both worlds, right? Where we get a, a huge provider list because we find a doctor that takes Medicare, we're good. It could be in our state or somewhere else, great. And we pay so much less in monthly premiums and even in the bad years, our deductible, this quote unquote high deductible is 2,700 bucks, which yes, it matters, but it's not the end of the world. So for all those reasons, you know, look, you do your own analysis, you do you, I'm not giving you advice in this video, but my own personal favorite Medicare path is traditional Medicare and then using a high deductible G plan as our supplement plan. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.